Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Partners. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. All right, so let's see who we have in the house right now. So Mr. Francisco is in here, Ana Yancy, uh, Miss Portillo, and also Miss Mrs. De Mojica, right? Yes. All right, so thank you for being here so early. You're very punctual, right? You are very punctual, puntuales. Okay. So thank you about it. <clears throat> You know, I was checking the, the platform and I was able to see that all of you already completed uh, Unit 1. So, thank you so much. Revisé la plataforma y, y verifique que habían completado la, la unidad 1. So, thank you. Right? Thank you. Hello, Sarai. Hello. Hello. All right, so I hope everyone uh, had a chance to rest over the weekend. Espero hayan descansado, ¿verdad? Si pudieron descansar. Bueno, Anayansi, you have to work, I know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I know you have to work, but yeah. Here we are again. Yeah. Right? Here we are again. Okay, so let's begin with, with the class. Um, do me a favor, please. Check the uh, the WhatsApp. I just shared with you the PDF that we will use for this class tonight. Okay. So. And then we take it from there. So just one second. All right, so I will start sharing the screen right now. So take a look, please. Uh, as you can see, in this class, we have many things to cover, all right? So we have many things to cover in here. Okay, and here we go, everyone. So welcome to the second week of uh, the uh, beginning module two. And uh, this is the second week of this module. Now remember that the last date of class is according to the schedule or according to the calendar, on March the 26th, all right? By this coming Friday, uh, we are going to be together for two weeks already, all right? I'm not going to tell you that there's homework because I know it's too soon. Demasiado pronto para decirles que tarea, verdad? Entonces, the, the thing is that we need to cover the material and then we take it from there, all right? So the PDF that I shared with you is this one. It has 19 pages. Maybe we will cover, we will cover until, let's say, until this listening activity, all right? But I would say my objective for the evening is, is this one, you know, to do this, the health and fitness quiz. Now, listen, please, the reason I shared the PDF, uh, I would say there are two main reasons why I, I share with you the PDF. And number one, I want you to have the information with you so you can take notes. And when you are done with the breaker room exercises, uh, you have time to read and, and then to advance. Les comparto, les comparto el PDF, les decía, por dos motivos principales. Uno, para que se tenga el material. Y lo otro, cuando tenga tiempo después de los break rooms, que de repente terminamos antes que otros grupos, usted pueda avanzar con el contenido. Y para el plan de esta noche, ¿verdad? Primero Dios, we will cover, eh, we will cover until page 16. Esperamos cubrir 16 páginas, siempre está como, como, like, inflated, así como, lo, así lo llamo yo, ¿verdad? Está como inflado las páginas, que son bastantes, you know, we have too many pages, 
uh, because we have a lot of images in everything. As you may have noticed already, the uh, topic for this class is adverse of frequency. El tema de esta noche son los adverbios de frecuencia. And these ones, my friends, you use, you use them, uh, let's say, in your life. All right? So, hay unas cosas en inglés que de repente no se usan, pero uh, the adverse of frequencies no es el caso. Entonces ya uh, brevemente escaneamos el texto, el PDF que les compartí. Y, y ya lo tienen ustedes a mano. Así que cuando de repente vaya quizás avanzando muy rápido, usted me dice, mire, ¿qué quiere decir con esto? O en, el, en slide o, o en la diapositiva tal, en on page number this. So you tell me the page number. Or ok. Hopefully this, this is useful for you. All right. So hopefully this is useful. Ok. Eh, les iba a compartir los audios también, um, pero ya no me quedó tiempo, solo los descargué y los tengo por ahí. El problema con los audios es que los descargo en, en my computer, luego los subo al drive, los subo a la nube y de la nube lo descargo con mi teléfono. <laughs> All right, so I have to download the files into my cell phone and then from my cell phone I need to send them to the WhatsApp. Si se fijan, es, es como un proceso bien largo, ¿verdad? Entonces ya no me quedó tiempo, pero si ustedes gustan, eh, se los comparto al final de la clase. All right? Porque yo sé que, por ejemplo, eh, voy a mencionar su nombre, Ana Yancy, a ver si usted me lo pide, los, los, los audios, y para que los escuche después, ¿verdad? Entonces, si esta noche en los listening practices, uh, you stay behind, you know, you stay behind, or you don't follow along, ¿verdad? Se, se queda un poquito en el listening, eh, that's okay. Le voy a compartir los listening. All right? Uh, lo ideal es que usted tenga todas las oportunidades. So you, you, the, the ideal thing is that you have as many opportunities as possible in this class. Ok. De eso se trata. Que tenga todas las oportunidades como sean posibles. So let me stop sharing this screen. And then we take it from there. So in the house, we have Mr. Douglas over there. Mr. Efrain Alas. Mm -hmm. And those are Catherine is in the house as well. Mr. Cesar Rivera. Solamente se le mira así, verde el pelo. <laughs> I know you got a haircut, but you got a haircut, sir. Okay, está en una llamada. That's okay, sir. That's okay. That's okay. I understand. And who else I have in here? Flower. Flor, right? <laughs> nice. Good to see you. Comenzamos una, una semana más, ¿verdad? Primero Dios. Como yo lo miro, es una semana más, una semana menos. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. Tienen el PDF, ¿verdad? Que les compartí, así que si gustan, let's let get started, pues, um, ya sin, sin más eh, preámbulo en, en esta cuestión. Let me just one second more here. And here, here it is. All right. So the word of the day or the word of the evening is, uh, it's about time. All right. It's about time. So that's, that's the phrase that I have for you, okay? Now, let me ask you, everyone, my friends, do you have any idea what the phrase it's about time or about time means? ¿Tienen alguna idea? No sé de, de lo que significa esta frase. Vamos a ponerlo por acá. Okay, let me let, just place this over here. And um, let's see here. Make this a little bit bigger. And then we take it for that. Without using the translator on the web, please. Sin utilizar, verdad, eh, trucos en internet. If somebody can tell me uh, what you think the phrase, it, the phrase, it's about time, means. Si alguien me dice, no sé, brevemente, eh, it's about time, significa esto. All right? It's about time, significa esto. This is one type of phrase that you hear very often. So, esta frase, de hecho, la escuchamos nosotros con frecuencia. Y así que creo que les va a servir bastante. All right. So, does anybody have any idea what the phrase it's about time means? ¿Alguien tiene una, una noción, por ejemplo, de qué significa esta frase? It's about time. No sé. Eh, si me ayudan, please, if you can help me. Eh, quizá es como es el momento o es el tiempo. Es el momento o es el tiempo. Yes, I will give you, let's say, 
7 out of 10. 7 de 10, la mejor de nota. But that's a great score, all right? That's a great score. All right, so you're, we're getting closer. That's the moment, it's the tiempo. Yes. Yeah, correct. No es algo bíblico, ¿verdad? It's not something from the Bible. So <laughs> I'm not making any, any reference over there. So one more person who can help us here. Efraín already said, ya dijo a Mr. Efraín dijo, ¿es el tiempo o es el momento? All right, and we're getting close to the minute. ¿Quién dice yo? Who says me? Mr. Raul, do you give it a try, sir? The phrase, good evening. good evening, sir. So the phrase, it's about time. Any idea? Lost in the moon right now. <laughs> Gravitating. It's about time. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it's too early. Demasiado temprano. <laughs> All right, any idea what this phrase? Uh... It's about time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example over here, all right? So let me give you some examples in here. So here we go. About time, all right? So I'm muting your, your microphones, everyone, over here. Okay, so here we go. About time. Um, Ponemos el it's in parentheses, so this is in parentheses, because you can actually say about time or it's about time. O sea que el it's is optional. You know that already, right? When algo está en parentheses, it means that it's optional. Over okay. It's an expression used to emphasize that something should have occurred a long time ago. Pero con esta definición creo que quedamos igual, ¿verdad? It's like, okay. <laughs> so what's the meaning of over there? All right. And what about this one? If I give an example. Well, about time. You got here. I've been waiting for an, over an hour. Imagine this. Uh, and I will continue. I will continue with you, Mr. Melendez. Raul, Mr. Raul. What's your favorite, your favorite fast food, if I can say that? Including pizza, uh, chicken, uh, I don't know, uh, pupusas, choris. What's your What's your favorite What's your favorite uh, fast food or junk food? Um, if I can ask. Pupusas. I like to um, hamburger. Hamburgers as well. All right. Um, okay. And do you do you um order food by phone or do you go to the place or sometimes it's both both, both. you do both you both. do both all right so what is what is the uh uh how can i say this the commercial about this pizza place what is the time frame that they give you or what's the promotion 30 minutes 30 minutes right all right 30 minutes so imagine that uh you have a very important, let's say, meeting, okay? Or something like that. And then you call and it's almost the time for, for you to serve the food, right? You have many people hungry and angry. <laughs> so, and then it's like, you're calling, nobody is, is uh, answering you back. And then just when you're about to, to call again, you see the delivery guy, in front of your doorstep, and then you say, Oof, it's okay. about, about time, about time. <laughs> justo like a that. tiempo. Exactly, exactly, that's what you say. It means justo a tiempo, or it means ya era hora, All right? That one uh, might be the right translation of it. Mr. Efraig nos dijo, ¿verdad? Ya es, es el momento, es el tiempo, yes. But we don't really say that, ¿verdad? Porque nosotros, de hecho, no hablamos correctamente. <laughs> all right so we don't really uh, say we say ya era hora. all right so that's what we say over there all right so i have one more person in here mr eduardo so uh hello sir so well about time estoy, estoy leyendo los, los ejemplos all right so i'm reading the examples over here well about time you got here I, i've been waiting for over an hour 
la famosísima, ¿verdad? De nosotros, the, the, the very famous phrase. ¿Por dónde venís? No, hombre, ahí vengo ya cerquita, ¿verdad? Por la ceiba. All right. <laughs> and then, por el bulevar, <laughs> saliendo bien del trabajo. And then, uh, an hour later, you say, what's about time, ¿verdad? About time, ya era hora. <laughs> que te apareciera. <laughs> okay. Like, for example, this, Manuel, about time you got here. It be, I've been waiting for over an hour. Remember, a late comer. Tardista, we say late comer. All right? Y esto aplica para cualquier cosa. Late comer. For class, for a meeting, um, anything, right? So, it's about time. The next example, it's about time that high schools taught their students about basic banking and finance. So right now, classes are canceled, right? Uh, o sea, las clases presenciales están canceladas. So schools are closed, okay? But I would say like by December or maybe next January 2022, you're going to say, ah, it was about time that the schools, you know, got open. ¿Verdad? Van a decir, ya era hora que abrieran las escuelas. That's where you're going to say it over there. Okay? So one sec, come over here. All right, and the last example over here. Take a look. Take a look at this one. I think you're gonna like this. Uh, you have Tom finally moved out of his parents' house. About time. He's 40 years old. <laughs> Just like the movie, right? Era hora, verdad, que se mudara de la casa de los papás. So Tom finally moved out of his parents' house. About time. Esta es una forma bien informal, pero ustedes escuchan los, los a los African American people, right? And they speak just like that, right? They speak like this. Yeah, and yell, and they go like this, right? But that's the way they speak, right? It's part of their culture. So they will say this, but time, right? But time. That's what they would say it over there, right? Así como hasta cantadito, they will say that, right? So about time. Okay. So, of course, I have to mention this, everyone. <laughs> All right. So... Happy Women's Day, all right? So, and this goes to Susana, eh, Sarai, uh, Flor, Rocio, Zulma, and who else? Anayansi, who else do we have over here? Yeah, I think uh, uh, Dalia, right? So I have Dalia in here, but she's not here yet. Mr. Baltazar, good to see you, sir. Right. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're very welcome, all right? Aunque sea un pastel, quizás le hubieran partido, ¿verdad? En el trabajo. No sé. <laughs> yeah, we never know, right? So, International Women's Day over here. Okay. Let's move forward in here. Let's see what I have in here. Uh, okay. Let me just mute your microphones very quickly, and then we take it from there. As I promised you last Friday, uh, from this week on, the 101 sessions, which were scheduled every Wednesday uh, from 10 to uh, 11 p.m., are no longer, I would say, alive, but they are not existing, los, los 101. Los miércoles ya no van a haber 101. So instead of that, you will have the opportunity to be face-to-face uh, -face with me and so I can give you feedback or we can practice English every single day. All right. Como la canción, ¿verdad? Every single day. Ahí mira algunas caras por ahí. Okay. All right. So all I'm saying is that tonight I'm supposed to have Dahlia with me from 10 to 10.10. 10. And then Mr. Douglas, I see that you're, you're over here, sir. Así que no se va a librar. Por aquí está. Right. And then I also, uh, I mean, that's tomorrow, right, Mr. Douglas Vasquez. And then on Wednesday, Mr. Efraín, so you can write it down, ¿verdad? Para que lo apunte en agenda. Eh, on Thursday, and on Thursday we have a Mr. Diego, ¿verdad? Este es como las plazas de, de, la, de la asamblea, ¿verdad? Fantasma. Este, this one. I don't know, maybe this gentleman never has joined a class. Y espero que se una... Eh, Por lo menos para que practique. All right. And 
Quiere decir que tengo disponible este cupo, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a, a la garduña. <laughs> this one. On Thursday, this spot is available. All right? So let me just uh, stop sharing the screen over here. Okay. Vamos a ver. Les decía lo siguiente. Eh, revisen el PDF que, por cierto, les compartí un PDF de la clase de hoy y si es posible, un par de minutos del día de mañana. Okay. Lo que les decía es lo siguiente. Eh, las clases obviamente duran igual de 8 a 10. Esto me dijeron a mí que, que les compartiera. Ok. Los minutos para Insafor cuentan de las uh, exactamente un par de minutos antes de las 8 y hasta las 10, ¿verdad? Entonces, de repente nos quedamos un minuto, dos minutos, tres minutos, cuando, no sé, nos... nos nos esmeramos, nos quedamos hasta cinco minutos después. Ok. Eh, de repente, eh, en el tiempo que pasamos en los breaker rooms, se pierden 10 segundos y tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso es que de repente yo me quedo un minuto o dos minutos más, ¿verdad? De las 10 de la noche. Todas las noches a partir de, de, este, de este día hasta el 26 de marzo, que es el último día. Por ejemplo, hoy le corresponde a Dalia. Si Dalia se conecta a la clase, ella tiene que quedarse 10 minutos después de las 10 de la noche. ¿Ok? Y así va a ser el día de mañana con Mr. Douglas. Eh, todos se retiran después de las 10 de la noche. Y le digo, so goodbye everyone, have a great night. But please, Mr. Douglas, Vasquez, stay here, please. Because it's your turn for the one on one. ¿Ok? Y así vamos a seguir hasta el 26 de marzo. Quiere decir que ya los días miércoles... No tienen que esperar 40 minutos o media hora para que les toque los 10 minutos. Creo que es más efectivo, más provechoso para ustedes y para mí también, ¿verdad? Porque ya no tengo que esperar a bajar un video, convertirlo, subirlo a YouTube. De ahí, obviamente, bajar la, la, la hora después y volver. Entonces, llego a medianoche, literalmente. <ríe> en, en su caso, tiene que esperar. Entonces, por ejemplo, el día jueves tengo ese cupo lo tengo disponible. Si alguien me dice, colóqueme, yo, yo lo, con mucho gusto lo voy a incluir en esos 10 minutos el día jueves. Ok, está disponible. Hágalo rápido porque eh, hasta agotar existencia, ¿verdad? <ríe> Aplican restricciones. All right, so, no quieren. That spot is available y sería una pena que se desperdiciara eh, y que no, no aprovecháramos que este día jueves, lo más probable que Mr. Diego Erazo a menos que se conecte solo el jueves, ¿verdad? Y, y él diga, el jueves me voy a conectar. Este, estos 10 minutos yo voy a estar ahí prácticamente without doing anything. All right? So let me know, please. Just as a recap. So we have Monday, Dahlia, Tuesday, uh, Douglas, Wednesday, Efraín, Thursday, Mr. Erazo, Diego, and then Friday, uh, we have you, Mr. Raul. Okay? Yes, uh, Miss González. Zulma, go ahead, please. Eh, yo voy a tomar ese espacio el jueves. All right. Yeah, that's great. Okay. So it's taken over there. All right. Thank you. So let's continue over here. Y perdón que, que me detenga mucho en esto, ¿verdad? Pero, pero creo que es necesario aprovechar ese tiempo. Okay. Let's get to work, everyone. And then what I have in here is the following. So in this class tonight, you are going to practice... And hopefully you will be able to, usted será capaz de, cuando usted es capaz de hacer algo, usted dice la siguiente frase. La siguiente frase. Eh, I will be able to. Y de, de ahí luego dice el verbo, I will be able to. Say how frequently I do an activity in the workplace. Ok. I'm sorry. So in this class, perdón. So in this class, you're going to be able to use uh, frequently adverbs to talk about your workplace, but we go the extra mile, ¿verdad? Nosotros vamos una, una extra milla. You're going to talk about your workplace activity and your uh, daily activities and why not weekly activities, right? So two categories, right? Two categories, dos categorías. Workplace activities and home 
place activities over there. And just to give you some examples, so think about this. Think about this and maybe in your cell phone or on the WhatsApp chat, uh, I want you to answer the following question. Quiero, por favor, eh, quisiera que ustedes contestaran estas dos preguntas. This one. It, and then share your answer to the WhatsApp over there. How often do you check your email at work? Si usted trabaja con correos, ¿verdad? Si usted no trabaja con correos, le voy a preguntar lo siguiente. How often do you check your, e your personal email? Okay. So one more time, please. I want you to, to think about this. How often or how often do you check your email at work or how often do you check your personal email? All right. And if you uh, are the type of uh, person who has a profession in which you have meetings, creo que todos tenemos reuniones, ¿verdad? Yes, right? So everybody ha has meetings, right? And too many meetings, right? Right, Rocio? Demasiadas reuniones, right? Sometimes. <laughs> All right, yeah. And so think about this. How often do you attend meetings? In theory, son solo dos preguntas, right? So two questions. Uh, but if you can actually say, for example, I can ask um, Mr. Eduardo, if you don't mind, sir, uh, Eduardo. Just listen. Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. So how often do you check your uh, personal email in your work email, if you would like to give us a, an estimate? My email, I don't know, once every... 10 minutes, I don't know. <laughs> so you, you check your, your emails a lot, right? Uh, the work, the, the... Work related, right? Yeah, yeah. Work related, what about your personal email? You don't check that one very often? Uh, once, uh, no, rarely, yeah. Not really, no. right? Like, I don't know, like once every, every month once every, or every... No, one, once, once a day, yeah. Every day, or you would say? Every day, right. yeah. All right, okay, and... Uh, do you do you have uh, like a lot of meetings? Like how often do you attend meetings? Frequently, yeah. I'm sorry, so very frequently you miss, you say, right? Yeah. All right, yes. So maybe during the week you, you can say that you have like three week, three meetings, I'm sorry. Three meetings or more? It depends. Maybe, you know. maybe it, more, yeah. Maybe more, all right, yes. Yeah, I think, I don't know if it's my connection or your connection, but it was breaking up, but don't worry about it. I was able to understand. Uh, right? I, was able, I was able to understand. It's more. mine. Okay, all right. So now everyone, please, uh, if you don't mind, share the answers to these two questions on the chat right over here please on, on the whatsapp so how often do you check your email at work or how often do you check your personal email and how often do you attend meetings if you actually have meetings at your uh, workplace si, si me ayudan eh, mandando esa, las respuestas a esas dos preguntas uh, por favor on the uh, whatsapp chat please All right you don't have to send a complete answer as long as you tell me uh i never check my email. you may say never All right or you can say um sometimes for example right or you say my personal email some uh never by my work uh email uh every day you can say that okay so but i need your 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 responses in writing please Necesitaría sus, sus respuestas eh, por escrito. Ok. So here we go. All right. So I'm getting some uh, responses already. And then let's see what, what I have. Um, so I have uh, Miss Rocio. It says I check my email about three or four times in the day. Even <laughs> okay, yeah, 
That is very, can you say that please? Could you read it? Because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to, yeah, It's go ahead. true, it's true. True, right. <laughs> so you say you check your email um, three or four times in the day, right? Okay. Even outside working hours. So right now when you're like having classes sometimes, yeah, you get an email and then you have to check it, right? <laughs> yeah, that might happen. That might happen. Okay, and Frank Rodriguez, you say I never check any email that work and I attend meetings sometimes once a month. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to ask you this, uh, Mr. Uh, Rodriguez Francisco. Okay. Yeah, uh, what do you do for a living? If you could actually share it with us. I'm a visual artist. Are you a visual and I, artist? Uh -huh, and I am master, uh, art mas master of arts and I teach mm -hmm. In, uh, hope to draw, paint, sculpt, only engrave. All right. So thank you. So, so I guess you are like your own boss. Like just that's what I can say, right? So, no, because uh, I work on in a workshop and I, I have work my boss. <laughs> uh -huh. But sadly, you sadly. You <laughs> yeah, but you communicate. You communicate. Let's say face to face, right? Uh, most of the time. But right now you're teaching, you, are you teaching virtually? Let's see, online? Or, or do you go to? to uh, your... with, with students. With students over there. Uh -huh, with okay. students. Okay. With students over there. All right, all right, that's good. So you don't really have uh, many meetings, like let's say, scheduled. Mm, sometimes, some, sometimes. All right, but they're, they're no, let's say very frequently, right? Exactly. All right. Well, today I, I had a, a meeting. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. So, and let's see, what about you? Thank you, sir. What about you, Mr. Okay. Mr. Raul Melendez? Yeah, your microphone is muted, uh, Raul. Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay. <clears throat> um, I have meetings twice. Twice, maybe three times in the in a day. A day. <laughs> wow, that's a lot, right? That's a lot with clients and your uh, I don't know managers and coworkers. You're right. Okay. Yeah, Managed I can see that. And coworkers. I can see that. Now I'm going to ask. Uh, I don't know if I got your response in here, and this is the last one, Miss Claudia. Uh, Enriquez. Uh, how often do you check your, your personal or your work email? Yeah, Claudia, if you would like to help us, please. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm able to listen. Le escucho. Adelante. Eh, dígame, por favor. Sí, perdón. Eh, solamente si nos comparte su, su, su respuesta de cuánto. Ok. Eh, hay. Ahorita le digo. Eh, sí. eh, I check my email at work at all time. All the time. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Eh, yeah. Reviso el, el correo a cada momento. Cada no puedo dejar de revisarlo porque qué tal si llega algo importante. Sí, tienes razón. Entonces, right. así me toca. <laughs> so we can say that, that the email, checking the email, so revisar el correo, checking the email is part of your, your tool, right? Es su herramienta. Your word mm -hmm. tool, right? Sí. Yeah. That that's okay. So and I have this one, which is uh, an Ayansi says, only at night. All right. And then she also says, she attends meetings every day. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. So let's move forward we're in here. And uh, how often do you exercise? What about this one? <laughs> how often do you exercise? Why don't you send the the response over there, please, and try to be honest. Try to be honest. Right. So remember, remember last week, 
y lo, y lo voy a trasladar, ¿verdad? Como, como la película, ¿verdad? Back to the Future. Eh, hold on, please. Let me take you back. So, take a look at this one. This question over there. And this one has, has relationship to what I was asking you last time. Esto, ¿verdad? Eh, this one. All right. This question over here. Remember, what is something you should do every day, but you don't? <laughs> Maybe it's exercise, right? <laughs> is it me, my lord? Is it me, my lord? Seré yo, señor? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that happens. Over there. So, so this one would be optional, all right? So my question to you is, how often do you exercise? All right, hold on, please. Let me share the screen over there. Si gustan, me comparten también la respuesta de eso. All right, you can share the answer with me. How often do you exercise? You may say, uh, in my dreams, I do it all the time, you may say, right? <laughs> but me, <laughs> yeah, sleep over there, right? So, yeah, Mr. Rodriguez said last time that he is a, a fit a person and he exercises five times or six times a week. Yeah, is that correct, Mr. Francisco Rodriguez? Yes, it's correct, teacher. Yes, and what type of exercise do you do, sir? Weightlifting and running. That's great, all right. Do you have any park like nearby where you live, sir? Sorry? Do you have any parks like Parque Satellite, Parque? Um, running, I practice in the highway. Uh -huh. oh, okay. I participate in some race runnings too. All right. So, uh -huh. all right, but you're not part of this TV program, right? Race 503. Uh, no, runners, no. Or runners 503, right? <laughs> Urban runners. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. So, let's see who else in here. So, one more minute, please. And then. Let's see what I got in here. Uh, all right. That's okay. If you feel that this is a very personal question, you don't have to share it with me. All right. ¿Verdad? Si piensa que es demasiado personal, it's okay. ¿Verdad? You say no comments. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I don't mind. So the top five sports and fitness activities in the United States. Okay. Remember what I'm about to share with you uh, is a top five sports and fitness activities in the United States. Okay, for example, I would say sports is like uh, soccer or basketball and fitness is what Mr. Rodriguez uh, does. It's like going out, he goes running, right? And then uh, also fitness activity uh, is like uh, weight training or weight lifting. All right, so we have sports and fitness activities. We have the images over here just to exemplify or to illustrate what the top five sports and fitness activities in the United States. Okay, and my question to you, do you think that the same top five uh, sports and fitness activities applied here in El Salvador? Piensan que es el mismo top 10, top five aquí en El Salvador. Do you think that that's the case, maybe in El Salvador? So we had basketball, baseball, soccer, football, and softball. And uh, what about here in El Salvador, all right? So do we have any other sport or not? Not right. Yes? No? Not right. <clears throat> okay. Fitness, fitness activities. Uh, walking, weight training, or weight lifting, you can say. Treadmill. All right, this is the treadmill, all right? Hold on. This one, right? This is the treadmill, all right? Stretching, stretching is what this lady is doing, right? Stretching. And then jogging is when you go out and then when you start to warm up or people instead of uh, running, you go like jogging, right? Jogging. So trotar, all right? Jogging. Um, what else can I say in here, right? Basically, that's what we do, right? When you go to the gym and you practice weight uh, training, right, or weight lifting, you have to stretch, right? And uh, when you are in the in the treadmill, you are like basically running or, or walking sometimes, right? So you either walk 
or run in the treadmill. So depending on, on your physical condition, member. All right, so keep that in mind. All right, este es trotar, right, jogging. Right. So do people in your country enjoy any of these sports or activities? Okay, so we may say yes, or we may say no, okay? Here we go. Next activity that, that I have over here. And for this one, I really need you to use your PDF. Para la siguiente actividad, uh, si usted, usted está trabajando en su computadora, se le va a facilitar. Si no, tendría que uh, usted tomar un cuaderno y hacer como esto rápido, es, es como un sketch para sacar este dato. Porque esta va a ser la primera práctica de los breakout rooms que vamos a hacer esta noche. Eh, since you have the PDF with you, you can zoom in and zoom out this information. So the name of the activity is sports and exercise. Okay, and according to the images, you have some karate, a yoga, a bicycling, uh, bowling, swimming. I would say this is tennis, maybe it's volleyball. So aerobics, right? First of all, let's try to practice that pronunciation over here. Practiquemos la pronunciación un poquito, all right? So with your microphone off, all right? Right now, let's practice the, the pronunciation. Don't pay attention to it. No le pongamos atención a esto en este momento, okay? Right now, just try to practice this. So we have aerobics, bicycling, or you can say bike clean, right? Uh, when you go to the gym, that's called a spinning, right? Which is something else, right? Spinning is something else. Bowling, golf. Uh, we don't have this right in example, ¿verdad? Nunca he escuchado que aquí tengamos esto de golf, pero I don't know, right? Maybe we do, ¿verdad? Allá en la zona pudiente, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Karate, swimming, tennis, volleyball, and yoga. Yeah, I, I know, for example, in Playa El Sonte, uh, they, they have yoga lessons in there. Okay, I know that. And this one is actually uh, topped, is done las clases by uh, American people. So American women are over there, ¿verdad? Algunas estadounidenses dan estas clases en la playa del sol. And a little bit expensive, by the way, all right? So now let's, let's pay attention to the activities over here. Esta actividad está dividida en dos partes, all right? So two parts. Part eight, which of these activities are popular? Popular, ¿verdad? Si usted quiere decir popular, va a decir popular, popular, all right? So popular with the following eight groups. Check the activities, then compare with a partner. Entonces los age groups or age groups or children. También puede decir kids, 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 children or kids, all right? Teens, puede decir teens or you can also say teenagers, all right? Teenagers. Uh, young adults, or puede decir young grown ups, como la película, right? Grown ups, grown up, all right? Uh, young adults, uh, middle aged people, all right? I think middle aged people would be maybe like uh, 50 and up, right? Sí, verdad? Quizás como tipo 45 and up, right? Middle aged people, de 45 a 50 en adelante. And older people, right? Older people. Eh, es ofensivo decirle a alguien, ¿verdad? You are old. Independientemente si es mujer o hombre, es, en Estados Unidos se lo toman como una ofensa. Uh, he's an old person. Uh, si se refiere a un anciano, decir he's an old person, literal está diciendo viejo. Uh, you have to say he's uh, uh, an elderly. 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 I'm going to send this spelling to you right now, ¿verdad? Estoy haciendo esa pequeña aclaración. Eh, elderly. Elderly son como la tercera edad, all right? Elderly. I, I shared this with you on the WhatsApp chat, whatever. okay? Como la categoría, right? Like the category, you say older people, ¿verdad? La gente mayor, all right? Gente mayor, but you say elderly, all right? Elderly. That's how you say it. So since you don't have this on paper, all right? And you don't have a pencil with you, let's do the chart, ¿verdad? Hagamos como el cuadrito, así, ¿verdad? A grosso modo. Like very quickly, and then what you're gonna do is you will compare these activities with your classmate. First of all, you do it by yourself. Primero lo hace usted solo, okay? And you, you, you check, ¿verdad? Usted, usted le da un check mark. For example, if you believe, 
if you think that children in aerobics may be young adults, you're gonna check it out. Bicycling, if you think it is, um, I don't know, maybe uh, teens, uh, children in middle age or everyone, you, you're gonna check everything in there, okay? And then once you're done with this, you're going to uh, per work or group stream three, and you're gonna answer to this, which activities in part A are used with do, go, or play. Lo que va a hacer usted va a categorizar lo, las acciones, verdad, o los, los deportes, o, o los activities over there, okay? For example, can, ¿cuál es esa man con do? Which ones are used with go? And then which ones are just uh, actions in there, right? Entonces, we have three categories over there. Is that understood? I guess yes, right? Yep. Entonces, en los breaker rooms, lo que va a hacer usted, como decimos, compartir en inglés. How do we say uh, compartir en inglés? Yes. Share. Yeah, we say share. So you're going to share and compare the information over there, right? Va a compartir y a comparar la información. Remember that you have this PDF with you and you have the information in there, all right? We have the information over there. De hecho, al final de esta clase se nos vamos a dar cuenta de qué tan bien o qué tan mal estamos, ¿verdad? Es de salud. <laughs> all right? And then we have a doctor over here, uh, Miss Susana Margarita. She's a doctor, certified doctor, and then she's going to tell us, yes, you're right, I agree with this, ¿verdad? Entonces nos va a decir sí. Está de acuerdo con, con, you know, the American uh, uh, Doctors Association or something. Or we have over there, right? <laughs> right. ¿Verdad? Te dejo aquí, ¿verdad? ¿Quién nos fiscaliza? <laughs> ¿Quién nos audite? All right. So here we go. I'm going to um, open the breaker rooms right now. I'm opening the breaker rooms and then we take them from here. All right. One. Okay. All right, so rooms are open and go ahead, please, and, uh, and uh, join them, please, All right? Bueno, entonces, ¿me quieren dar la...? Hello, hello. Vamos a ver qué vamos hello. a... Hello. Sería en primer lugar llenar la, el esquema, ¿verdad? Sobre los sí. diferentes ejercicios. Ese, exacto, bueno. gracias. Sí. Ya, ¿Ya lo escriben ustedes? ¿Ya lo tienen? Sí. No lo llenamos ahorita de todo. Ya lo llenó, no, no, este Catherine. Okay. No, no, no. A, a la misma vez, perdón que los interrumpa, eh, a, la misma, a la misma vez cuando usted esté llenando el cuadro, puede tratar de, de ver si va el do, el go o el verbo mm. solo con la acción, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, usted dice, Francisco. Francis, Dice, ok, go aerobics, mm, no me suena eso. Entonces es, ok, children do aerobics y todos le ponen un check mark. No, ¿verdad? Entonces, you, uh, young adults, yes, right, you may say that, right? El adulto joven. And then maybe middle-aged people, they do aerobics, you may say yes, right? Tratemos de conjugar el, el, la actividad, poniéndole do, go, o la acción en sí. Así nos adelantamos a la parte B. Mejor, ¿verdad? Muy bien, gracias. Uh -huh. <ríe> sí. 
Okay. All right, so I'll be, voy a dejar de compartir porque necesito dar ese mensaje. De hecho, se me había ido. Bien, gracias, gracias, Leonel. All right. Lo más general, ¿verdad? John Adult, eh, Middle Edge People. El Paul, sí lo puse en Mightly. Ajá, Middle Edge, Edad Media. Uh -huh. Golf. Eh, bueno, yo adolescente sí nadaba bastante, hizo el paso del hombre, de hecho. Vamos a ver. Sí, lo de swimming, bueno, yo lo puse sí. de children porque. Aunque hay, también hay, hay gente mayor que se lo deja como terapia. Ajá, yo por eso desde pequeño. Like rehab. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo, cómo? Uh, rehab. 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 O sea, la palabra completa es rehabilitation, ¿verdad? Pero nadie dice sí, de hecho. Ah. Uh, the, the rehab. And this applies to drug rehab, alcohol rehab, or rehab. in like funter, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Para la rehabilitación. Yes, sir. Yes. Correct. Rehab. Sí, muchas veces para eso el swimming. Mm, pero swimming ya es más como practicar el si la natación no aplicaría para hasta en los países desarrollados, hasta para atender a los niños, lo ocupan el, el, la cuestión uh -huh. de swimming, ¿verdad? Like a therapy. Therapy. It's a therapy. therapy. Pero swimming yeah. es más como, como el deporte. It's, in this case, we're talking about the sport. Yes, uh -huh. the sport. Sport over there. Ok. O, o, o el ejercicio, is... exercise over there. Tenis es como más picky, but, o sea... Ah, no, pues sí, en mi vida he tocado yo, he jugado. Tenis. <laughs> right? ¿Cómo es? <laughs> Son las la raquetas, la raqueta, you know, the racket to kill mosquitoes, right? That's the only one, that one. <laughs> electric. <laughs> the electric racket, that's the only one. <laughs> you know, that's the closest I have, you know, gotten to uh, play tennis. Es lo más cerquita, es lo más cercano que hemos llegado. <laughs> Uh, play volleyball? Do you play yeah. volleyball? Yes. Yeah. Young adults. Regular. Teenagers, I think. Uh, I mean. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But that's a great sport. That's a great sport. Uh, yoga, maybe in, mm. 20, seven, in 20 years. Solamente para amarrarme la cinta de los zapatos. <laughs> Stretch him over there, right? <laughs> y regularmente ya es la, la, los mayores que lo practican, creería yo. Bowling. Le pongo Marco el aeróbico. Sí. Best friends, best friends forever. <laughs> No, está gustando este grupo. Trate de hacerlo así siempre porque yeah. nos quitamos el sueño así. Sí. Besties, besties. BF, BF. Nice, nice. Vaya, este. Bueno. Bi bicycling. Ajá. Bicycling. Sí. Aeróbicos. Aeróbicos. Mm. Bowling, aeróbicos no, aeróbicos no. Teams, no, para el siguiente. Uh -huh. Ah, pues no. No, esta no. no. En los 80 fue famoso eso, ¿verdad? De los aeróbicos. <risa> Cabal. Así dicen. <risa> Nosotros no habíamos nacido, no sabríamos decirle. <risa> Hey, Oye, pero sí, usted, justo, justo iba, iba llegando. De... Estaba, estaba muy chiquita, digamos, muy chiquita. Para, sí, no. Para justo iba llegando. De... <risa> iba aterrizando. Sí, no, <risa> Ok. Bowling. Bowling. Bowling, ¿verdad? Eso es lo bono. Eh, karate también. Karari. Karari. Yeah. ¿Cómo? Karari. ¿Cómo es kar karari. 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 Como el karao. Karari. Kara kara y luego ri. Karari. 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 Acuérdese de la película Karari y luego lo demás. No lo puedo decir, ¿verdad? Porque. 
Swimming. No vaya a ser. Swimming. Swimming. Yes. I, think swimming. Swim, I think swimming is everyone, right? I would say that. Swimming. Mm -hmm. Tennis y right? Tennis y voleibol. Tennis y voleibol. Tennis y no me sale como usted le sale, teacher, pero este algo el intento estamos haciendo de las rayitas. <laughs> Ahora <risa> no practican. <risa> no, mira, un montón de cosas que he aprendido por esto de la pandemia, créanme. Sí. Ah. sí, sí. Estamos okay. practicando nosotros también. <risa> nice. En los adultos. Okay. All right, let's see here. Ya, ya pueden irlo. ¿Qué significa? Ah. Young adults. Young adults Ad es adulto joven. Adult ah, nosotros, Claudia. Eso es. <risa> Hay una radio, de hecho, que sí es para la, la 102. 102.9. Tengo un tío que cuando me subía solo eso sonaba. <risa> solo eso. <¿verdad? risa> sí, es cierto. Vaya. Vamos a ver. Los adultos jóvenes, vamos a ver qué hacemos nosotros, Claudia. Como dice mi papá. Nada joven. de eso hago, quiero. Mi, mi papá dice joven aún. Ajá. Joven <risa> aún, cabrón. Vaya. Okay, vamos sí. a ver. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Aquí están bien calladitos, ¿verdad? Todos concentrados. <risa> Está bien. Ok. Um, ok, so my question to you is, la pregunta es, dice usted, eh, go aerobics or do aerobics? Do aerobics. Yes, right, like in Spanish, right? Do you say go bicycling? Ah, ahí está. Estoy preguntándole, ahí está. <laughs> ok, and then, do you say go bowling or do bowling? Uh, bowling. Go bowling. Yes, sir. It's go, go bowling. Yes, ir al boliche. ¿Verdad? Ir a practicar boliche. Ah, ok. Yes, go bowling. Uh, but but don't, don't worry about it because I guess <laughs> yeah. don't worry about it because in my life I think I'm going to go to the boliches I, I, don't, I don't like it I don't really like it uh, we'll see okay um, let's see What about what about the sports of the activities that you can do where you live, Anayansi? ¿Alguna actividad física que puede hacer ahí donde usted vive, aparte de ir a, a nadar o a correr en la playa? Like go, go running or something. Anayansi, está con el micrófono apagado. Yoga. Uh, Basically. Ajá, exacto. Aerobic. Mm -hmm. eh, only. Only that one, right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. okay. Okay, uh, so once you complete this sport, you know, you compare children with... You have to do, you have to do the... Uh, you have to do the following. Va a ver si va a do aerobics, go bicycling, or play golf, right? Uh, I'm going to close the rooms in, in two minutes. Okay, I'm going to close the rooms. All right, in two minutes. Hold on. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, see Mr. Balta. Hola, teacher. Yeah. What happened to you on Friday? Mentira, no me contest. Yeah. yeah. No me contest. <laughs> <laughs> Yo paso lista y de hecho a veces le saco screenshot para que me recuerde que en realidad tengo que pasar lista, pero en realidad en los break rooms eh, voy viendo a ver quién está. Es donde, es donde se da cuenta. Exactamente. Ahí. Sí. Yes. 
All right, so can I share a screen? Eh. Voy a compartir pantalla ahora. All right. Okay. All right, so uh, we have aerobics, bicycling, bowling. Uh, let me ask you, uh, Miss Rocio, could you help me with with bicycling? Uh, what do you have? Let's see. What? Uh, let's see. Uh, sport uh, do you have in there? The age group. Yes, please. Okay, um, bicycling, um, the children's, um, young adults, and middle-aged people. Yes, yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Yes. Um, in, in swimming, maybe everyone. Um, children and teens. Children and team order. Okay. It, just one, one recommendation. Quizás es una recomendación. Que es para poner en práctica ya de una sola vez los, los, los verbos. Podemos decir children, they uh, go bicycling and mm, okay. they, they go swimming. Uh, y ahí aprovechamos el dicho, ¿verdad? To kill two birds with one stone. ¿Verdad? Dos pájaros de un de un tiro de un tiro de una yes. pedrada de una pedrada <laughs> de una de una de una, de una. Uh -huh. yes. exacto exactly just like that para qué andar ahí aparentando ahorremos pala ahorre ahorremos palabras teacher yeah I know yeah just like that And so what about what about Karari Mr. Dulas Karari Karari you know um, age, age group, um, mm -hmm. children's dance, yes, a uh, young adult, I uh, go yeah. karate, karate, yeah, okay, they do karate, do karate, or practice, or practice karate, right, karate. just like that, yes, that's basically it, right, that's basically it, right. Quizás Mr. Balta se, se peleaba con sus con compañeros cuando estaba pequeño, pero that's not karate, right? That's just fighting over there, right? Uh, apuro este. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, we have one minute, right? So we can go back. Mr. Raul, do you know Karari, sir? Or just how to punch your, your little oh. friends when you were younger? Solo sí. recibe. <laughs> Más fácil que pegarle un bolo. Sí. <laughs> but let no. me ask you, were, were, you a, were you a bully or, or the victim when you were in school? Cuando usted estaba en la escuela, si se acuerda, eh, eh, peleaba o... Casi no. <laughs> Casi no. Almost Casi ever. no. No, no buscaba mucho problema. Era de los. De los tranquilos. Era de los que a todo el mundo conocían. <laughs> Cherada. Sí. <laughs> sí. Oh, los gatos por ahí. Hmm. They are a plague, ¿verdad? Andan por ahí unos gatos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, you didn't have to learn karate, you know how to defend yourself. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice, sobrino? My nephew. Your nephew, yes. Is a, um, uh, how do you say, uh, federal? Uh, yeah, he's, uh, we, you can say he's a, it's a, an athlete, a, a certified, certified. Yes, yes. Certified. Uh, um, karate. Number one in Central America. In Central, nice. Let's tell go. me, tell me his name, please, so I don't. When I see him, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Alejandro, se llama. Alejandro, brother, right? Okay, Mr. Alejandro, brother. Don Alejandro. <laughs> es, es, uh, él es Dan. 
Ah, ok. Ya pasó de cinta negra y todo eso, o ya él les dan. And he learned over here. In el, he learned here. In el, sí. en el All right. Nice. So we, they don't have teachers, right? They have senseis, right? They don't have teachers. They have senseis, right? Yes. Yeah, that's how they call it over there. That's nice. That's nice over there. Okay. Here we go. When you practice Karari, you, you need to uh, stretch a lot, right? Tiene que estirarse bastante, right? So that's what I know with Karari. I, I had a, um, a co-worker because I worked for a call center like four years ago. Yo traje para un call center. And I worked for two years and a half over there. Trabajé dos años y medio. And I met someone in there who was also part of the Federación de, de Karate. And then he used to give us some demonstrations over there. He would jump, saltaba bien alto, and then he would go like this. He was very skinny, era bien delgado, and a little bit tall, era alto. Alto. So, yes, yes. Sawamura. <laughs> Do you remember exactly. Sawamura? <laughs> yeah, my parents, actually my dad told me about it. <laughs> yeah. El Ninja Americano, right? That's a movie. <laughs> había una, no, había una caricatura hace... No, that one, 35 I don't know. Años. Así se llamaba Sawamura. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right, so everyone, this is just for us to actually see uh, the different age groups, uh, children, teens, young adults, uh, middle age people, and then older people. Uh, see the activities and how active or how passive, aquí son dos cosas, ¿verdad? How active, activos or passive, ¿verdad? That's something else, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, ¿verdad? Que estamos viendo que están activos. You know, exercise speaking over here, ¿verdad? Hablando del ejercicio. Okay. <laughs> and then, so, can I have a volunteer, please, who can help us with uh, with the uh, verbs in there, ¿verdad? Con estas parejas. If you say, do aerobics or uh, go bicycling, uh, play golf, eh, para que podamos seguir, ¿verdad? Con, con la clase, all right? Mr. Baltasar, go, go ahead, please, sir. No vamos a hacer la parte del cuadro, eh, sino que vamos a, a ponerle el verbo a estas eh, acciones, a, a estos ejercicios. A las, a las acciones. Okay. A las actividades, yes. Um, yeah, uh -huh. Sería uh, go karate. Eh, Go swimming, uh -huh. uh, play basketball, do, do yoga, play tennis, uh -huh. y um, go, go yoga. Okay. In this case, I just need to uh, point it, uh, do aerobics, just like in Spanish, right? So, hacer aerobics. Go bicycling, ir a bicicletear, right? You may say that, right? Go bicycling, okay. Go bicycling, right? So uh, you say go bowling. Eh, la clave de esto es que cuando you have to go somewhere, cuando tiene que trasladarse o involucra movimiento, you, ha you have to say go, right? Like go running, go jogging, right? Go surfing, okay? And, and activities that, that you do, uh, at one single place where you don't have to actually move uh, to another place, you say do, right? Do aerobics, uh, do karate, right? And then do yoga, right? Like, like those ones over there. Como fitness activity. Yo creo que el karate es como una actividad de fitness, right? I think it's, it's that's, that's the category over there. All right, so, and that's the key. Esa es la clave. And the other ones, the ones that we know, like play golf, play soccer, play volleyball, para los deportes, casi siempre ocupamos el play, right? Play. And that's a key order. So let's continue. I hardly ever exercise. Over here, you're going to see the two sides of the story, where right? Vamos a ver las dos caras de la moneda, right? So we have um, this gentleman, his name is Paul, right? And then her name is Mary, or Mary, I don't know. And then you see who actually says, vamos a ver quien dice, I hardly ever exercise. Of course, right? You have a hint in here. And then we see how it goes in there. Okay. 
allow me just one second. I need to share the audio with you. Here we go. All right. Right now, just pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Go ahead. Hold on, please. Let me fix something in here. All right. Voy a arreglar algo por acá. Así rápidamente los comparto porque lo quité. Este audio está los primeros 30 segundos. Dice el nombre del nombre del libro <laughs> y dice después copyright. <laughs> All right, so I'm not supposed to share that with you. All right, so let me just one second. So I'm going to do this instead. All right, and we take it from here. Okay, vamos a compartir pantalla. Sorry about that. All right, sorry about that. And here we go. All right. How often do you exercise? Page 37, exercise three, conversation. I hardly ever exercise. Part A, listen and practice. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. All right, so uh, we have a, uh, a very active person versus a couch potato, right? Entonces, what would be a, a good translation for that phrase? But ¿Cuál sería una traducción para couch potato in Spanish, Salvadorian Spanish? Eh, una, una persona holgazana, por decirlo así, no hay holgazana, nada. Holgazana, right, holgazana. En yes. buen salvadoreño, huevo en paila. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard about it, actually, but that's a good expression, by the way, huevo en paila. Okay, yeah, we can say that, right? All right. So now listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does Paul do in his free time? Listen to this, please. This gentleman, he exercises, according to him, about five times a week, ¿verdad? Cerca o casi five times a week, right? But that's not enough. Eso no es suficiente. <laughs> okay? So he, he does something else. Hace algo más, ¿verdad? Este señor Paul over there. And then we're going to find out what that is. And this one is um, exercise seven part B. All right. And here we go. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to play the listening. Page right. 38, exercise 7, part B. Listen again. Who is most similar to you? No, it's not this one. Let me just get this one. And then this is the one. All right. Let me just one second over here. And I think I lost them. All right. I don't know, do I had this ready? Let me just get it over here. Permítame un momento. Creo que por aquí está. Eh, si no tuviéramos la cuestión eso de derechos de autor y todo eso, les mostrara eh, de dónde están estas carpetas, pero eh, si no me metería en problemas, ¿verdad? Así que les pido disculpas por eso. Let me just one second over here. And here we go. Yeah, I found it. Sorry about that. Let's see. Page 38, 
Exercise 7, Part B. Listen again. Who is most similar? No, it's not this one. All right. Okay, so I'm going to get it later on, right? And then I'm going to share it with you in a couple of, of, of seconds over there. Okay? So in the meantime, let's pay attention to this, please. All right? Ya vamos a encontrar la parte de verdad para ver, para ver qué más hace este señor. Okay? So but right now, let's, let's pay attention to this. I hardly ever exercise. And then uh, what I'm going to tell you is to pay attention to the link sounds. Como usted ya tiene el PDF, le pido... So right now I'm asking you to identify the link sounds that you can uh, actually, uh, let's see, make in this conversation. Identifiquemos las uniones de sonido, please, en esta conversación, por favor. Si usted tiene verdad, no sé, en la aplicación y puede hacerlo con, con, con el mouse. Go ahead and do it, please. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm just going to play this again. And then you tell me what it is, right? So voy a reproducir la conversación otra vez y lo que va a hacer usted es hacer los link sounds, ¿verdad? La uni las uniones de sonidos. A ver si puede hacer esas uniones de sonido. And then you, you are going to compare them with what I tell you, brother. Y vamos a comparar con las que yo le sugiera. All right? So here we go. So listen again, please. So right now, what you're looking for is for link sounds, all right? So link sounds. Here we go. How often do you exercise? <laughs> Page 37, exercise three, conversation. I hardly ever exercise. Part A, listen and practice. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. All right, so let's see what's going on over here. Vamos a ver si, si sus uniones de sonido con, con, coinciden con lo que yo le voy a decir en este momento. All right? So we say you're really fit. Aquí en realidad no hay una unión de sonido, pero lo que les estoy diciendo es lo siguiente. Cuando usted tenga el mismo sonido, no lo tiene que decir dos veces, ¿verdad? No tiene que hacer el mismo sonido dos veces. Y brevemente le, le voy a dar un ejemplo en este sentido. Over here, right? Hold on, please. Okay. You say you're, you're really, right? Aquí está el sonido de la R y el sonido de la R over here. So we, we, we join both over here. Esta es una eh, práctica bien común en el inglés, right? So you would say you're really, you're really, you're, you're really fit. You're really fit. Como es la misma R, que comienza la siguiente palabra, we say you're really fit. No decimos you're really fit, all right? Sale por inercia. Paul, do you exercise a lot? Este es una S, sonido, no escritura. Entonces, cuando se pronuncia, you don't say this one, right? We say, do you exercise a lot? Exercise a lot, all right? Exercise a lot over there, okay? And then we say, well, I, well, I almost always, almost always, eh, yo les he dicho que la T casi al final de las palabras no se pronuncia, ¿ok? O se pronuncia mínimamente, ¿all right? Se disminuye, you know, you, you, you do it like lower over there. So I almost always, almost, almost always, como que fuera una S, almost always, get up, get up, get up early. Y si usted quiere ser un poquito más extremista y unir ese sonido, you have to join eh, the P with the E, aunque no es tan, tan, tan notorio. You say, I almost always get up early, get up, get up early, get up, get up. I, I told you, get up. Usted le dice a sus hijos, ¿verdad? Get up, levantate, o levántese, right? And then that's what you say. O le dice usted a su mascota, right? Get up, over there, right? Right, that's what you say, over there. 
Okay. So I uh, I almost always get up early and I lift, lift. Tenemos que hacer ese sonido, ¿verdad? Que se escuche la F. Lift, lift weights. La T en realidad no la decimos, ¿verdad? Cuando esté en contexto no la decimos. Lift, 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 ¿verdad? Esto es opcional. We say I lift weights for an hour, for an hour, for an hour. Imagínense cuánto unimos ahí. For an hour, for an hour over there, right? And then seriously, de verdad, en serio, no me estás dando y usted dice, va. <laughs> All right, that's that's the translation over there, right? And then we say sure, sure, sure. And then I, and then, I, aquí hacemos una pausa, ¿verdad? And then I often, you can say, usted puede decir often or often, como usted quiera, often or often, often or often over there, right? Eh, no sé, levantémonos. Ahorita, no sé, no se me duerma, por favor. <laughs> okay, wow. How often do you exercise? How, of, how often do you exercise like that? Aquí, de hecho, no hay ninguna unión de sonido. About five times a week, ¿verdad? Five times a week. What about you? What about you? Oh, I hardly ever, hardly ever exercise. Hardly ever exercise. Aquí podría haber una unión de sonido. How I ever exercise. I usually, usually, usually uh, just watch TV, watch TV in, in my free time, TV in, TV in my free time, I guess, ama, tiene que decir ama, ahí, ¿verdad? Ama, como amar, ama, right? Ama, you say, I'm a real couch, real couch potato, I'm a real couch potato. Entonces, ya de corrido usted tenía que decir, you really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Y para que no se me duerma. Uh, this is the next exercise that we're going to practice right now in the breaker rooms. Y vamos a hacer lo siguiente, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a hacer una práctica distinta porque esto es algo bien corto. Si está una pregunta, if you see a question over there, or if it's a short sentence, si una oración uh, corta, no dependa demasiado del texto, por favor. Eso se lo pido, ¿verdad? Como, como, se lo digo como un consejo. No estemos solamente leyendo. So you go, you really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Por lo menos, no sé, cierra los ojos. O, bueno, si lo cierra, se va a dormir, ¿verdad? Entonces, <laughs> you, do so, you do something else, right? Mira por otro lado, levántese, luego baje la vista. You do something. Well, I almost always get up early and lift weights for an hour. Entonces, hagamos el esfuerzo mental de tratar de decir, aunque sea la última palabra o las últimas dos o tres palabras de la oración o la pregunta. ¿Ok? Without reading. Eso se llama look up exercise, ¿verdad? Como que fuera usted un actor o an actress o an actress and you have to memorize this, all right? Hagamos un verdadero role play, ¿verdad? Como un juego de roles, all right? When we practice this. Y se van a dar cuenta que you're going to practice just like this, okay? Nice. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and uh, make the breaker rooms, all right? And here I am. I'm going to make it right now. And here we go. Okay. Let's see what do we have. There you go. Okay. So rooms are open. The only thing you're going to practice is the conversation over here. Okay. And the information can be, find, uh, can be found on the... <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah, 
rápido. Hello, teacher. Ahí están sus peques. Ay, sí. Dando guerra. Sí, más ella, mire. Yo tengo, yo tengo uno de tres, tres años y medio en un terremoto. Ay, Ay sí. Así es ella también. Sí. Casualmente mi esposa trabaja el, el sábado y el domingo. El, el domingo es el viernes para ella. Y el lunes y el martes descansa. Entonces, por eso nos turnamos. Ahí está ahorita. Ay, no. no, porque ya no había... <risa> ya me hice Raúl ya lo que pasó por eso. Uh. <risa> ya es el casi bachiller. Sí, gracias. Ay, Ma, eh, lo que les pedí es que hagamos el esfuerzo de no depender mucho del texto. Usted puede decir, eh, Saray, you really fit, eh, Raúl o Mr. Raúl. Do you exercise a lot? No necesariamente le tiene que cambiar el nombre. Y luego lo dice, dice él o dice, dice Flor. Uh, well, I almost always get up uh, early and I lift weights for, for an hour. hour. Esta frase que dice, seriously, no vamos a estar así, ¿verdad? Diga, ok, seriously, de verdad, no me estás dando cuento. Seriously. Right? Right? And then you say it like that. Es rapidito and then... You take turns, hacemos el cambio de roles, and then we go back order, para que nos quitemos el sueño. Ok, ok. Bye. Co como todo caballero, late porque es el Día Internacional de la Mujer, ¿verdad? Más ahora. Sí. Soraya, que por aquí. Ah, ok. Me hubieran dado a suerte. You are really. Por lo que vamos a, a tratar de, de hacerlo lo más corto posible. En este caso, vamos a eliminar un ritmo. Really, Ajá, really. Exacto, ya, exacto. Ya tengo la hoja. Bueno, okay. la pantalla. Ok. Mm -hmm. Dale, dale. No. Go ahead, Douglas. Do you Va. exercise a lot? Va, tiene que alzar la vista, Mr. Douglas. O sea, por lo menos, uh -huh. o sea, no, no, no dependamos mucho de la lectura para que, para que lo que vayamos practicando que se nos quede y al final usted ocupe esa frase. Esa es mi sugerencia. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Este, you, do you exercise a lot? Ajá, verdad. Ella. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. So who? who... Well, okay. I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Okay. Serious. <laughs> That's okay. Serious. Seriously. Seriously. Serious. Seriously. 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 Ah, ahorita sería usted. Si gusta, sigámoslo igual y de, de, de ahí cambiamos, ¿verdad? Bien filosófica. Sí. <risa> you are you. Y así uh -huh. me my mira, soy yo, no soy yo. Eh... Más que está hablando con alguien de arte, de verdad. Sí. Le va a empezar realmente, a filosofar. Realmente. <risa> Entonces, Ana y Ansi, sigamos así y después podemos intercambiar entonces. Ok. You are really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I am... Ok. Vaya, este Catherine, le va a tocar otra vez María. Bye. No sé que sea alguien de nosotros sea María. Bye. Ya no se sabe en estos tiempos, vea. <risa> el machismo, el machismo. Es cierto. Es cierto. No, eh, teacher, le estamos dando oportunidad a Katherine por ser el, el día de la mujer. Ah, está yeah, right. está sí, empoderada, right. está empoderada. Duérmame, duérmame, sopepito. <risa> But that's okay. 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 Nice. Juan Carlos, no sé si conmigo o con Katherine. No, yo como sea, no hay problema. Voy a, voy a ser María. Vaya. That's okay. <laughs> no, That's okay. no me preocupe. That's okay. Ok. okay. You really fit, Paul? Do you exercise a lot? Uh, well, I almost always get up early and live with for an hour. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Sure, and then I've often go swimming. Con esto para allá porque no no voy a ir, pero de repente no tengo que ir. 
Hello, hello. Me levanto ya. Hello. hello. You see, hello. women power over here. Women power. Oh, yes. Poder femenino over here, right? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Estamos nice. hablando que nos sentimos identificadas con el coach potato. <laughs> yeah, me too, sometimes. <laughs> I always say that. Siempre digo que me voy a levantar temprano, pero I never do it. Da, da, una, da una semana sí, una semana no y así voy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, no, yo el día que sí en realidad no voy al gimnasio es el lunes. Sí, el lunes sí no dan ganas. Ese día es por demás, aunque me ruegue. <risa> <risa> pero ya de martes a sábado sí. Ajá. Domingo y lunes no, pero Ay, de martes chivo. a sábado Hombre, sí, de, de cinco nuestro, a seis y media. Nuestros respetos porque. No. <risa> <risa> por salud lo estoy haciendo por salud yo sé sí. mm -hmm. <risa> es que quiero dar el ejemplo ¿verdad? Sí. <risa> si no, no me van a creer los pacientes <risa> yeah, you want to set the example you want to set the yeah. example yeah. nice I know. Do, you, do you have any questions for me over here before I close the, the room in there uh, no I, no I not really right no, not really no, no. alright uh, but dun, 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 dun. if you go to the next page, Miss Rocio, you will see grammar. <laughs> we'll see grammar. Bueno, con permiso, <laughs> ahí lo dejo. Uh -huh. Fue el inter, dice. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bueno, aprovechemos brevemente over here. Let's take advantage over here. Eh, regla general, los adverbios de frecuencia, casi todos van después del sujeto. Grabémonos eso. ¿Ok? Y eso eh, no importa si es pregunta o si es una oración negativa o si es positiva. Eh, casi siempre lo dice después del, del sujeto. ¿Ok? Únicas excepciones son usually and sometimes because usually it can go at the beginning or at the end of a statement. Whether. Usted puede decir sometimes I wake up at 5 a.m. Or I usually wake up at 6 a.m. Okay. Um, o, o dice, usually I wake up or... Ahí, ahí lo puede poner donde usted guste. Pero uh, los otros que, que son always, never, oh, hardly oh, ever. Oh, eso sí sigue en un orden dance. porque se escucha raro. Right? right? What's the say? Well, what it deceptions? Mm -hmm. Ah, the exception. Las... Sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep. Usually and sometimes. <clears throat> yeah. Usually and sometimes. Esas pueden ir en cualquier orden, right? Usually and sometimes. But in real life, in la vida real, uh, puede poner usually, uh, sometimes. Uh, Quiero ver si me acuerdo de algo. Sí, básicamente esos dos son los únicos. Right? Usually and, and sometimes. sometimes. Always, almost. Eso often, sí. Hardly yeah, ever. They, they follow structure. Eso sigue sí, una estructura. Va el sujeto y luego el auxiliary. Con la mayoría de verbos. Pero lo, donde nos metemos en problemas es con el verbo to be. Ahí van después del verbo to be. But that's something else that we will start. Pero así es la gramática, es confusa. <laughs> All right, so hello, hello, welcome everyone. So let's continue over here, please. Okay. So, and then we go here. All right, so can I please have two volunteers who can practice this conversation? So I need one Paul and I need one Mary. It could be two women or it could be two gentlemen. It doesn't really matter, okay? Necesito eh, dos voluntarios. Okay, Me. Susana, you're one and then Efrain over there. You choose. All right, so I guess Efrain, you will be Paul and then Miss Susana, you will be Mary. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Okay. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early. And I like wait for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go swimming. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? 
about five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free times. I guess I'm real goat potato. All right, thank you so much. Now, just try to identify the average of frequency. La practica aquí es para los averbios de frequency, right? So average of frequency. And then we have a always, right? You wanna just, I'm sorry about it. And then we also have often or often, you can say that. Often again in here and hardly ever, that's another one, et cetera, et cetera. Usually, that's another one. With it. Usually means regularmente. Right, so usually means, usualmente, I don't think that existed in Spanish, but we say regularmente, right, usually. Right. And in the next page, what I have is the rules in here, okay? Remember, you have access already to this uh, page, so we don't get confused on this one. But I want to exemplify this in a better way, ¿verdad? Ya voy a regresar a la página anterior, all right? La página, this one, this page is just to give you some more details, right? You can read it later on, but I'm going to explain this based on this slide, ¿verdad? Le voy a compartir la explicación basándome en esto que creo que es un poquito más, amiga, más amigable a la vista, right? So I think it's easier. Let's pay attention to this. Uh, always it's 100% and never is 0%. Let's go to this in between. This is 50%, all right? 70%, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, the percentages uh, don't really matter. What matters is that you should be careful or you should be uh, sure what you're talking about. Al final, tú tienes que estar seguro de lo que quiere decir, ¿verdad? If you say that you never, you know, 0%, you do something, you say never, right? If you say that you always do something, for example, if you check emails, if you revisa los correos, if you check emails every single day, you can say, I always check emails at work, okay? If you say, I never eh, watch TV uh, in the morning, porque obviamente está trabajando, ¿verdad? So you're working. So you say, I never watch TV uh, in the morning. Or you can say, I usually watch the news at night, ¿verdad? Regularmente miro las noticias, right? You say that. Entonces, al final usted mismo se, se traza, ¿verdad? Como una escala. So you do like a scale. And then you do, you think, okay, from Monday through Friday, this is what I do. And I, 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 I never do this. Nunca hago esto. Or I always do the following. In the middle is sometimes. Lo que importa es eh, de esta gráfica or out of this graph. Always is 100%. Okay. Never is 0%. And then sometimes is 50%. What's, what falls in between, lo que caiga en medio, al final usted se arregla, ¿verdad? If you say almost always, usted está diciendo que casi siempre, all right? Maybe, like, for example, Miss Susana was sharing with me. She says, I never go to the gym on Monday, but you say, I go to the gym five days a week, or you can also say, I always go to the gym on Wednesdays. You can say that, right? or four times a week or five times a week, okay? Or you can also say, I almost always go to the gym five times a week. Usted puede decir eso, ¿verdad, mi Susana? Casi siempre voy al gimnasio cinco veces a la semana, all right? You say that, okay. Don't get confused and don't get frustrated. Yo siempre les digo eso. I always tell you this. No se me confunda, ¿verdad? Está bien, confúndase. Right, but don't get frustrated, ¿verdad? Pero no nos frustremos. Y si se frustra, eh, que sea solamente un momento, right? Maybe it's just a moment. Why am I telling you don't pay attention to the uh, to the percentages, ¿verdad? No le pongamos atención mucho a los porcentajes, ¿verdad? Porque dependiendo los, los autores de los libros, so depending on the authors, they're going to tell you that. Usually it's like 90%, ¿verdad? Y de hecho... No lo puede dejar uh, con los colochos hechos, ¿verdad? Como dicen por ahí. I want you to go. I want you to go to the following page over here. Quiero que por favor me acompañen. Y no iba a decir, ¿verdad? A ver esta triste historia, ¿verdad? No, eso es otra cosa. <laughs> Let's take a look at this, please. All right. So, this one. 
This one is page. If somebody wants to help us, que si nos ayuda, por favor, en qué número de página del PDF está? What's the page number of this one? Así la buscamos, you know, very quickly, whether, because I don't really know. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Thank you. 20. Appreciate your help, brother. All right. So. If you are the type of person, right, who wants to have everything, uh, let's see, planned and organized, y le gusta tener las cosas organizadas and numbers over there, right? Uh, see, if you are the type of person that plan your weekly schedule, verdad? And ya sabe lo que va a preparar de almuerzo. <laughs> este chart es para usted. Okay? <laughs> right? So, you see, always is 100%. You, and never is 0%. Sometimes it's 50%. And um, you go, usually it's 90%. Hardly ever. And seldom you see like 5% and 10%. Occasionally, occasionally, occasionally. Digamos el, la palabra, por favor. Occasionally. Occasion, ocasionalmente. Right? And we say seldom. Sometimes. Often. Normally, usually, and, and uh, always. As you can see in this chart, usually has more percentage. But si usted se fija que en este cuadro, el, el usually tiene más, más porcentaje que el normally, right? And on the other one, we don't have this one. No teníamos este. Okay. I would say that, uh, si usted dice como normalmente, you may say that 80% of the time. Y de, y de cinco veces, five times a week, you do the activity four times. ¿Verdad? Creo que así es la matemática, ¿verdad? Out of five things, if you do uh, something four times a week, creo que puede decir, I normally uh, go to the gym. ¿Verdad? Porque estamos diciendo el 80%, right? That's the 80%. That's how I see you in there. All right? And for example, if, if, you, if you say... Um, uh, let's see, Mr. Francisco, if you say, I always uh, have a class in the morning, you're saying that is every single day, right? Or, mm -hmm. or if you yeah. say, I, yeah, that, that, that's, that's the case in there, right? Now, please, the way we should learn the average of frequencies uh, is the following. All right. The, uh, the advert goes right after the verb. Always, okay? Or, or I, I would say like 90% of the time, all right? 90% of the time, or usually. Vamos a ocupar un, un adverbio de frecuencia para decirles lo siguiente. The adverse of frequency are usually after the subject, ¿verdad? Regularmente, es decir, el 90% de las veces un adverbio de frecuencia va a estar seguido O sea, va a estar después del, del sujeto. Si se fija, he usually, she normally, I often, she sometimes, I occasionally, we seldom, uh, he rarely, I never. Y si usted es matemático, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el patrón, verdad? ¿Cuál es la, eh, la constante? Right? So it's that it goes right after the subject. Okay. And that's the average of frequency. It's like constant over there, right? So that's the con constants in here. All right. There's only one exception in here. Okay. There's only one exception. And I'm gonna I'm gonna circle this. So sometimes and uh, usually. All right. And I have another one over here. Okay. Normally. Usually normally practically significa lo mismo, right? You know the difference in realidad. De decir regularmente y normalmente, yo creo que para nosotros son sinónimos, right? Those are synonyms. Regularmente y, y, y normalmente, I think it's the same thing, right? For me, ¿verdad? No lo ocupo con otra distinción, but ustedes me podrían dar otro ejemplo. Usually, normally, and sometimes, usted puede comenzar la oración o lo que va a decir con él. Usted puede decir, sometimes I uh, watch a movie. Uh, on Friday night, you can say that, right? Or you can say, I watch a movie sometimes. Puede terminar la oración el sometimes. Or you can say, en el orden que les dije, I sometimes watch a movie on Friday night. 
ok y puede decir lo mismo con normally o usually usted puede decir usually se queda, se queda pensando uh, usually I watched uh, a movie uh, on Friday night or I usually watch a movie on Friday night y al final lo puede ocupar pero no es muy común entonces lo que le voy a decir es regla general para usually, normally and sometimes usted arranca con esas palabras y después dice todo lo demás ok, those are the exceptions over there. but if you want to say always alright eh, si usted aborda el transporte público right? so if you take the bus early in the morning and that happens all the time every single day right you say i always take the bus uh, to go to work if this is siempre abordo el bus yeah you say, you say the number and everything right so you say i always or i uh, usually or i sometimes verdad las, las últimas palabras las únicas palabras que, que tienen variación son usually normally And sometimes, que la, usted puede iniciar con eso. You can start the sentence there. Okay. Uh, let's go to the previous uh, section in here. Is, and if you have the PDF with you, I want you to go to the following page in here. All right. And in this one, what's the page number on this one? Uh, si alguien me confirma. ¿Cuál es el número de página? No les puedo decir, perdón, porque en, en este slides yo tengo la página 52 acá, ¿verdad? And that's not the page number. That's not page 52. What's the page number on this one, everyone? Page 8. Page 8. All right. Thank you, sir. So I, wanna, I want to stop on this one over here, right? Eh, con el verbo to be. Right? Con el verbo to be, si usted dice, yo siempre estoy tarde, ¿verdad? Para la clase de inglés. This is just an example, right? <laughs> This is just an example, right? Don't get me wrong. Todavía no me quemen en loguera. Okay. All right. So, you say, I'm always late. Or, I'm always early. Or, you can say, when I'm always late, I always uh, text uh, the teacher. <laughs> Cuando voy tarde, le escribo al profesor. You can say that, right? So, cuando es el verbo to be, escribimos después del verbo to be. You say, I'm always late. O usted dice, I'm always hungry early in the morning. Siempre estoy con hambre, ¿verdad? Cuando me levanto, right? You can say that. But I'm always sleepy uh, early in the morning, right? I'm always, right? Aprendámonos esa estructura. Con el verbo to be, los adverbios de frecuencia van después del verbo to be. Con los otros verbos van seguiditos, si se puede decir esa palabra, después del sujeto. Okay, and you may forget this, but we'll see how it goes over there. Okay, now what you're going to do in the next exercise, my friend, is actually before we go any further. Okay, let's exemplify this. Let's exemplify this. All right. Eh, en, su, en, en su mente, verdad, hagamos como este, este ejercicio. Eh, Let's try to replace. Replace es reemplazar, ¿verdad? Replace. Reemplacemos el adverbio de frecuencia por esta frase, ¿verdad? Digamos, uh, I lift weights every day. Y usted va a decir, ok, every day. Podría ser always. Uh, I go jogging once a week. Maybe uh, you can say almost never. Ahorita no nos preocupemos por la estructura, ¿verdad? Right? Just try to replace the adverse of frequency over there, ¿verdad? La práctica que estoy haciendo que ustedes enlacen el, el adverse of frequency con, con esta expresión, ¿verdad? With this time expression. I play soccer twice a month. Maybe you can say I hardly ever, right? Creo que podría ser el equivalente, right? The equivalent, maybe, right? So I swim about three times a week. Uh, I think you can say I usually, right? Uh, I don't exercise uh, very often or I, I don't exercise very much. Usted puede decir very often or very much. Uh, usually I exercise before work o usted puede decir I usually exercise before work ok eh, when you ask questions usted tiene que decir do you ever do you ever do you ever watch TV in the evening alright do you ever watch TV on Friday night tiene que poner ever después del sujeto ok y eso significa alguna vez 
Alguna vez. Right? Alguna vez. Como la canción, ¿verdad? Si una vez. <laughs> and then you say the rest. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV. ¿Y cuál es la constante, right? That the average frequency is. Si usted lo quiere ver. Que está right after the subject. O lo puede ver que está in between, ¿verdad? En medio del sujeto y en medio del verbo. All right? It's in between the subject or in between the, the, uh, the verb or whatever. So I sometimes watch TV before bed or sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. Rara veces. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Y esto es prácticamente. Okay. Average of frequency over there. Right? So, eh, let's let's do something in here, right? Let's go to page eight and we will do this first exercise. All right? We're going to do this first exercise and then vamos, lo voy a uh, enviar a los breaker rooms. Okay? The first exercise will be this one. Luego, uh, then we come back, regresamos, and then I'm going to make the breaker rooms again. Vamos a hacer los breaker rooms, es decir, que usted, you're going to practice with somebody else, and you're going to do this exercise over there. And I think with that one, we are going to say goodbye. All right? Creo que solo para esto nos alcance. Okay. So the exercise you're going to be working on is this one, right? This one. It says, put the words in order to make questions, then complete the answers with the words in parentheses. Aquí vamos a ordenar. You have to order the question and then you have to answer it based on these patterns. Ocupemos las pistas, ocupemos lo que se nos da ahí para hacer questions and the answers over there. Okay. Uh, I'm doing the sections over here. Uh, hold on, please. Um, all right. Ahí está. Okay. New rooms are open. Let's practice the uh, exercise over there, please. This one. El que tengo en la pantalla, ¿verdad? Ese es el que vamos a practicar. That's the one you're going to practice. This one over here, please. Okay. And thank you so much. I will see you in a second, all right? Hola, Mr. Nelson. Hello, sir. Hola, teacher. Hola, ¿qué tal? Mira ahí su mensaje, no le puede contestar, ¿verdad? Pero sí, ya, ya estoy ahí enterado. Ok, de acuerdo. El cuadrito de los grupos lo perdí. Uh, yo lo ingreso. Bye. Sí, este. Ah, okay. Let me send you over. There. Ahorita lo vamos a. Lo vamos a ingresar. Es por estar tocando ahí. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Over. There. Quiero ver. Mm -hmm. No le aparece ninguna opción a usted. Aquí está. Ya lo encontré. Ahorita no. Ya lo encontré. Vale, entonces vamos a, usted está en la 4, lo voy a pasar por acá y luego lo vamos a pasar de regreso. Ok. Ok, Tuve... ahorita voy para la 1. Sí, pero ya lo vamos a pasar a donde le correspondía, a la sala 4. Es que para que estemos 3 y 3, para que sea. Ah, ok, de acuerdo. Uh -huh. Pero igual, ingrese y ya le va a aparecer a la, la correcta es la 4. Ahí está. Trate, por favor. Sí, cuatro. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Ok. Este, la respuesta ya la puso. ¿no? How do you go, Joe Wing, Eva? 
I do yeah, you jogging, jogging, jogging. Mm -hmm. with the friends ever alone, always. Mm -hmm. So what's the question you said, uh, uh, Ms. Susana? Eh, como estoy ordenando la, la pregunta. Mm -hmm. Entonces le pregunto yo si es, I do you go go going with the friends ever or ever with a friend? Okay, but el, el ever es un adverbio. Uh -huh. Y sigue el sujeto. Sigue al sujeto. Ok. Entonces, hay. Hay, do you ever? Ajá, es, comienza con el do, ¿verdad? porque es una pregunta directa, ¿verdad? Ajá, hay, do you ever? Sería. Do you ever? No. Ajá, ajá, do yes, you... yes. Ajá. Do you ever? Do you win? With yes. a friend. With a friend, oh. yes. Do you do you do you ever go jogging with a friend? Y luego le va a preguntar, le va a decir, no, I okay. always. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I always. No, I always go jogging. jogging go jogging with alone, a friend. Alone. Ah, no. Ajá, porque le está preguntando, vas a vas a correr o vas a trotar con amigos ah. o con un amigo. Y le dice, mm -hmm. no, yo voy solo. Ok. okay. En, en la pregunta siempre vamos a decir, do you ever? Do you ever? ¿Alguna vez o tú vas? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Nada más con esta. Ah, bueno, entonces. Entonces esa uh -huh. sería la, la última. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahora sí ya puedo escribir porque es que me escribiendo me tardo. Ya. ¿La repasamos? Sí. Bueno, la, la dos era. Do you ever go join with a friend? With a friend. Uh -huh. La respuesta. No, I go join along. Correct. I always I correct. Go join along. Correct, yes. Uh -huh. Tercera. How often? Sí. Sí, eso sería. Así tal cual sería, ¿verdad? Hay, ¿cómo de quedar? Sí, hay a full time a week. A week. Um, en esa no cambia nada, teacher. En la respuesta tres. Ok, déjeme ver. Te estamos preguntando, no. how often do you play tennis, right? Mm -hmm. So, how often do you play tennis? And then you say, I play tennis. Ajá, no cambia nada. No cambia nada, ¿verdad? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Usted dice, I, I play tennis. Four times a week. Four times a week. Ah. Sí, lo que están haciendo ellos, están comparando solamente eh, las expresiones de tiempo con la frecuencia, por ejemplo, ah, okay. lo que les decía, si usted se ejercita cinco veces, de las cinco veces solamente fue cuatro, un 80%, y ese 80% es como un usually o un normal, uh -huh. y ya usted ya dice, ¿verdad? entonces por eso es. Ah, ok, thank uh -huh. you. Qué Sería el otro. La cuatro, ¿verdad? Eh... Do you... Hello, hello, everyone. I'm sorry I have to uh, bring you back over here, but we don't really have the time. Y hoy creo que sí tenemos que ser bien puntuales, porque como tenemos 10 minutos eh, para, for this, right? Hold on, please. A ver si esta cosa gets, all right. Oops. Here, we're done. So we're going to we're going to start with this. All right. So in this class, I'm supposed to have uh, Dalia. Uh, and if she's in here, uh, let's see. 
Aquí está Dalia. All right. So, aquí, aquí estoy, teacher. Yeah, I can see you're over here. And then tomorrow we go with uh, Douglas Emeritan. So that means that uh, for tomorrow, we're going to, uh, let's see, review this. Mañana vamos a repasar esto. The first thing we will start with tomorrow is this. ¿verdad? Con, con mañana con esto arrancamos, right? So you have... Teacher, yo no me puedo quedar. Okay, so anybody else can stay over here? Alguien que se pueda quedar? Además. Okay. Okay. Teacher, si quiere me quedo yo, o si puedo. Eh, who says that? Thor. Sí. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Yes, that's okay. So okay. I have to say, I have to say goodbye, everyone. Yeah. So Bye. see you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Good night. Oh, Bye. Bye. So, Flor, uh, you stay here, please. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Good night. Good night, sir. Hoy sí. Hoy sí, Sí. El Mr. Eduardo a veces se pone a trabajar. Yo lo ya, ya le eché de ver. Este, ahorita se me había quedado así como en el limbo. Vaya. Creo que podemos aprovechar el último ejercicio que hicimos, ¿verdad? Para, para, si para, para, para completarlo, ¿sí? Para completarlo. Vale, vamos a ver. Eh, here we go. Ok. Te dije que apagaras esta computadora. Ah, eso. Va, pues ya. Se me había entrado cuando le quité los botones. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. Eh, si, si gusta, compártame lo que usted pudo completar y yo le puedo dar la, la, el feedback over here. ¿Verdad? Ok. Eh, eh, en la respuesta, no sé si es. Bueno, yo le puse ahí. ahí. I usually uh, play a, play a sport. No sé si está bien. Sí, está bien. Solo lo, lo, lo único que aquí tiene que ocupar es el que le den, el adverbio que le den. En este caso le dieron often. Often. Ah, ok. Ajá, lo, Entonces lo que sería, son... I, uh -huh. I usually often. Uh, y, y también podría, lo, las dos íbamos a buscar entonces. O solo uno. Vaya, yo le puedo preguntar eh, con cualquier adverbio, pero usted me va a responder con el que usted en realidad, en la vida real, ¿verdad? Yo le, ah, yo le, okay. puedo, yo le puedo preguntar, so, do you, do you, uh, do you usually or do you always eh, take a shower in the morning? <risa> ¿Verdad? Y usted me va a decir, me va a decir yes, uh, or no, or sometimes I take a shower in the afternoon, ¿verdad? Ok, está bien. Entonces, usted va a decidir whatever frequency to use. So, it's up to you. So, it's up to you. Ah, okay. decide. Entonces, en este caso ya, ya nos lo dan. Aquí está often. Solo okay. uno. It's just one average of frequency that you need to use. Solo uno. Ok. Ok. Ah, pues sería, I usually often eh, do on weekend. Eh, o sería on weekend vaya pero vaya la, la pregunta es what do you usually do on the weekend si usted se fija las pistas que nos dan acá es often and play sports aquí solamente usted ya me responde me va a decir I often play sports ah, okay. aquí está ya digamos lo que usted va a decir Ajá, aquí está lo que me va a decir So, number two, que cuando usted hace una pregunta de yes or no, y vámonos a, vámonos aquí a esta pantalla, mire, este, tenemos, eh, usted me va a decir, do you ever, 
do you ever? Ah, okay. O me puede decir, do you always? Dependiendo bueno, de lo que usted me quiera preguntar. Okay. Una pregunta neutra es, do you ever? Y de ahí usted va a decir, do you ever watch TV? Do you ever uh, go out? Do you ever eat uh, Don Pollo? Do you ever eat uh, uh, pizza? Whatever. You say, do you ever eat pupusas on Sunday? ¿Verdad? Eh, le okay. estoy preguntando, ¿verdad? ¿Alguna vez? O, o come usted. El ever es como de adorno, pero no, nos hace la estructura correcta. Ah, ok. Pero tiene que ir. Ok, like, let's go back. Okay. Entonces, on number two, uh, we have. Uh, it says, ever, do you ever go, go, go judging with a friend? Correct. Do you ever go jogging, jogging, no, ging, ging, no, jogging no, with no, a friend? No, no. If, and then you have to say, no. No. No, always. Ah, el sujeto, ¿verdad? No, I. No, I always. Uh -huh. No, I always jo go jogging alone. Exactly. No, I always go jogging. Ging es como ging, como guinda. Jogging. <laughs> Como guinda. <laughs> I go jogging okay. alone. Okay, number three. Alone. Tenemos play tennis y comenzamos con el how often, ¿verdad? How often. Okay. How, ¿Qué tan how, frecuente? How often, uh, okay. how often uh, do you play tennis? Yes. Uh -huh. And then you say I. I play I play tennis, tennis for mm -hmm. times a week. That's perfect. O solamente usted en la vida real me va a decir, le están preguntando la frecuencia, solo eso conteste. Me va a decir four times a week, o va a decir always, or never, or three times a week. Es en la vida real, ¿verdad? Ahorita lo que estamos haciendo es practicar el inglés, porque entre más palabras diga, <ríe> aprendemos mejor. <ríe> sí. ¿Verdad? Sí. Por eso es que hacemos eso. No porque en la vida real yo solamente le pregunto eh, bueno, la pregunta siempre tiene que ser correcta. Le, pregun le puedo preguntar: so How often do you. Do you uh, una pregunta quizás verdadera: How often do you go to the supermarket? Uh, eh, sería. Ahí, ahí trabajo, me va a decir. Ay, <risa> <risa> no. He said always, every, every day, me va a decir, ¿verdad? Every day. Vale. Entonces, en la vida real, usted solamente me va a decir, no se va a poner a pensar, I always, uh, no, me va a decir every day. Me va a decir, actually, me va a decir, de hecho, actually, I work over there. ¿Verdad? Porque para, la, para por ejemplo, yo, que no trabajo en ese rubro, I go once a week. Una vez a la semana. O puedo decir, I o, always. O rara. Ajá, I always go to the, to the supermarket once a week. Ahí lo combino. Siempre voy una vez a la semana. Ah, ok. ¿Verdad? So I combine. Sí. Así que usted decide. Yo puedo decir always. Si usted me pregunta, how often uh, do you go to the supermarket? Yo le puedo decir, uh, always, I, uh, I always go. Ahí sí le tengo que decir bien específico, ¿verdad? Uh, porque usted preguntando qué tan frecuente lo voy a decir. Uh, I always go twice a week or twice a week. Okay. Okay. Bye. Uh, number four. Uh, uh, do you do you usually um do you sería use... una pregunta de, 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 de información. What do you What? Okay. What do you usually in the evening? Ajá, ahí me pregunta el do va a ser otra vez. What do you usually uh, What do, you do? Usually do, do in the evening? In the evening, yes. And then we say my family and I. I and I. Uh, in the evening, o oh, sería uh, my family and I. Elmos. Uh -huh. Almost always. Almost yes. always uh, watch TV in the evening. Uh -huh. En realidad, el, la, la, el tiempo no es necesario porque si yo le estoy preguntando y ya le especifico in the morning or in the afternoon, no lo tiene que uh -huh. decir. ¿Verdad? Okay. Este, it's, you say, my family and I, 
o solamente puede decir usted solamente a um, watch tv watch tv o sea si se quiere salvar la, de decir la persona va a decir a uh, watch tv o uh, watch tv o, mírate, o sea mirar televisión mirar televisión dice pero en okay. inglés decimos todo lo todo verdad decimos Uh, my family and I, es cuando usted quiere compartir, ¿verdad? My family and I almost always watch TV. Ok. Comemos pupusas. ¿Cómo diría eso? Casi siempre comemos pupusas, ¿verdad? Y ya diga el, el domingo, digamos. My family and I. I all, uh, my family and I, I always eat two pupusas. Uh, almost, almost all, or always eat pupusas. Oh, well, yes. And the last one. Um, sería how often do you go to the gym? Exactly. The how gym. often do you go to the gym? The gym. I never. Uh, you see, just like that, verdad? Yeah, ahí ya los, ahí lo, <laughs> lo, lo, lo calla, verdad? Le pregunto, ¿cuántas veces vas al, al, al gimnasio? ¿Qué team? Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> Okay. Con el, mire, con el how often usted puede contestar directamente con, con, con la frecuencia o, 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 o pedrada. Usted dice, so how often do you brush your teeth? Usted dice three times a day, ¿verdad? Okay. ¿Verdad? O sea, usted va a preguntar, va a contestar lo que le están preguntando ¿no? en la vida real, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita sí, para aprendernos o para entenderle a quien está hablando, usted va a saber, ok, I brush my teeth, brush, brush my teeth. Three times a day. Three times. Okay. Y, y yo le pregunto, y ahora como ya sé que se lo lava tres veces, le voy a preguntar, how often do you uh, brush your teeth three times a day? O sea, ¿qué, o sea, ¿qué tan frecuente se lava los dientes tres veces al día? Y usted me va a decir, ah, I always, siempre lo hago. <laughs> right? Okay. Usted me va a decir, always. Okay. O sometimes. O, y ya, ya solo me dice el adverbio. ¿verdad? Porque ya entendemos el contexto. ¿Verdad? Y al final, usted, lo, usted usa esas expresiones sin saber, sin, sin darse cuenta, lo, lo ocupa con buena gramática. Ok. En that's the idea, brother. That's the idea. That, y yo lo que digo, esa es la magia. Brother. That's the magic. Cuando hablamos. All right. So, time is up. Time is up, Flor. Okay. We have, we have to say goodbye. Right? Bye. Good night. Have a good night. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>